The Defense Logistics Agency is known as America's Combat Logistics Support Agency, and its support of the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, federal agencies, and partner nation armed forces is far-reaching. DLA provides its customers with the full spectrum of logistics, acquisition, and technical services, and provides nearly all of the consumable items its customers need to operate. A key part of DLA is its network of distribution centers located worldwide. DLA Distribution is the leading provider of global distribution support to America's military, including receiving, storing, and issuing supplies. Supply discrepancy is a general term used to describe any variation in goods received from data shown on any authorized shipping document that is not the result of a transportation discrepancy or product quality deficiency. A supply discrepancy report, or SDR, is a tool used to report item or packaging discrepancies attributable to the responsibility of the shipper including government sources, contractors, manufacturers, or vendors, and to provide appropriate responses and resolution. There are two types of supply discrepancies, item discrepancy and packaging discrepancy. A supply discrepancy is any variation in quantity or condition of goods received from what is shown on the authorized shipping documents to include incorrect or misdirected materiel receipts of canceled requirements and or improper or inadequate technical or supply and shipping documentation that is not the result of a transportation error or product quality deficiency. Discrepancies involving item unique identification or IUIDs are reportable under shipping discrepancy criteria. A packaging discrepancy is any unsatisfactory condition due to improper or inadequate packaging, including preservation, packing, marking, or unitization that causes the item, shipment, or package to become vulnerable to loss, delay, damage, or unnecessary expense to the U.S. government. Note, when both item discrepancies and packaging discrepancies are noted on the same shipment, all discrepancy codes shall be included. Some examples of the more common receipt discrepancies that require supply discrepancy reports include the following. Damaged materiel, incorrect NSN, missing supply documentation, misidentified, packaging and marking discrepancies, no PMRD, shortages or overages. When materiel is identified as a DLA unique Q series discrepancy and shipped to the wrong site. Anyone that writes SDRs is a key player within the Department of Defense supply chain. DOD has developed codes for the most common discrepancies that the DOD supply chain faces. These codes increase the speed of the receipt process and prevent the receiver or stock readiness personnel from excessive writing to explain the discrepancy with the materiel. However, there are times when providing a code is not enough. More information needs to be provided so that the item manager, or IM, providing the disposition instructions can make the best decision. The Distribution Standard System, or DSS, is programmed to capture some data and it is not necessary for users to repeat that data in the comments. Only a new procurement receipt pre-populates the contract number. All receipt processes will capture the national stock number and the document number for the item being inducted. When inputting SDRs into DSS, always provide the following information if it is available. The contract number, commercial and government entity, or CAGE code, part number, shelf life dates, condition of the material, packaging and marking costs are based on the current fiscal year PPP and M rates that exceed the following packaging thresholds defined in DLAI 4145.4 stock readiness. $300 for DLA materiel and military services materiel, and $500 for clothing and textiles. 
If this data is missing, it causes additional work by other DLA distribution personnel and the entire supply chain. It also causes a delay in providing the customer with needed supplies. During the receipt process and before SDRs are input into DSS, ensure that items with packaging discrepancies that exceed the packaging thresholds are suspended using condition code L for new procurement or K for non-procurement, and use action code 1A when suspended material and disposition instructions are required from the IM. The example shown was processed with a single discrepancy code of Z3, receipt not due in. The comments repeat the NSN, document number, and quantity. Repeating this information is not necessary. Comments state that the material is semi-packed and markings are correct. However, the comments also read that packaging may be required if material is not in an issuable condition. The discrepancy codes do not indicate there are any problems other than that it was not due in. Because there was inadequate information provided, the IM had to request additional information from the distribution center. A request for additional information can add up to 90 or more days to processing time. This delay creates both a warfighter and financial burden. A proper SDR should include the following. Discrepancy code of C1 in condition other than that indicated on release receipt document or on the supporting inspection test certificate the appropriate P discrepancy code P201 that identifies the issue with packaging, discrepancy code of Z3, receipt not due in, depot comments that accurately reflect the discrepancy without repeating data, receipt processed without PMR, material is corroded and does not appear to be in supply condition code A, not in the correct unit container and is not wrapped contract number is not available. The IM will be able to provide disposition in a timely manner if good information is provided up front. The next example is an information only SDR. The comments repeat the NSN, part number, contract number, call, cage, and quantity. Repeating this information is not necessary. Unnecessary spaces are used with underlines. Typically, this happens because the receiver is using a pre-populated barcode. The SDR states that material was received with improper packing. The only discrepancy code utilized was for marking. What was improper about the packaging and marking? This needs to be written out in detail. The SDR should include the following. Discrepancy code of P301. Identification markings omitted, incomplete, incorrectly located, or not legible. Discrepancy code of P201, container inadequate, incorrect, or oversized. Depot comments that accurately reflect the discrepancy without repeating data. Material received with no mill standard 129 markings. Material is protruding from box and is not packaged in accordance with ASTM D3951. Cost to repackage $164. Even though this is an information only SDR, the IM is required to communicate the contractual non compliance to the vendor. If there isn't adequate information in the comments, the IM cannot justify the discrepancy to the vendor or make suggestions to prevent recurrence. Marking discrepancies account for more than 50% of packaging-related SDRs. It is a requirement that all material be marked in accordance with Mill Standard 129, DOD Standard Practice Military Marking for Shipment and Storage. Most SDR comments provided for marking discrepancies do not have enough information. Information should include what was wrong with the marking and what is missing from the marking. The IM has to provide this information to the vendor to ensure it does not happen on future shipments. For example, 550 boxes arrive in the receiving area and are missing markings. The SDR comments input into DSS should read, Material is not marked in accordance with Mill Standard 129, missing part number and cage. 
cost to mark is $704. The example uses the FY18 triple P&M billing rates. You must always use the current fiscal year's triple P&M billing rates. DLA Distribution Center employees will use the SDR to report shipping or packaging discrepancies attributable to the responsibility of the shipper, including contractors, manufacturers, or vendors, in accordance with DLM 4000.25 Volume 2, Chapter 17, Supply Discrepancy Reports. It is very important to give detailed information about the discrepant material in the Discrepancy Comments block so the owner or supply center can visualize the problem before providing disposition instructions. The purpose of this exchange is to determine the cause of such discrepancies, effect corrective action, and prevent recurrence. For detailed information on SDRs, refer to DLM 4000.25, Volume 2, Chapter 17, DLA Distribution SOP 4000.05, Receiving Supply Discrepancy Reports, and Module 8 of the DLA Distribution Receiving Process Manual. Additional information can be found on the DLA Distribution Process Guidance and Tools website on your desktop. Receiving is where everything starts in the distribution process. Receivers must ensure that SDRs contain enough information for a product or packaging specialist to determine proper disposition. Inadequate or incorrect information prolongs the suspension time and can delay warfighter readiness. If you have questions regarding the process of submitting an SDR, contact the DLA Distribution J4 Receiving Team at DLA Distribution Receiving at DLA.mil.